Hi, my name is Tanya Mustas. I am from Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation. I'm a mother. I was I recently returned back to school. I chose Portage College. I'm in the Aboriginal Arts Certificate Program. Our instructor, Ruby Sweetman, has taught us so many different things so far. Um, the program is quite amazing, and one of the things that we learned that she taught us is ribbon skirts. My name is Rose Loonskin. I'm from Fox Lake, Alberta. I'm with the Little Red River Cree Nation, Treaty 8. I'm here today to talk about the traditional ribbon skirt. You barely ever see women wearing their ribbon skirts. So we, when you wear them, you, can, you feel powerful. You feel proud to be Aboriginal. You feel all the pain that we've gone through or anything that we've um, overcome. And it sh shows resilience. And this is how you start a ribbon skirt. There's all sorts of materials, all sorts of fabric, different sizes of ribbons for your skirt. There's thin ones also, because we there is also men's ribbon shirts. There's bias tape, heat and bond, um, measuring tape. This is everything you need to make a ribbon skirt, including your sewing machine. Well, this is my first skirt that I actually made made for myself. I, I was given a name, uh, White Wings, Wapskitahtakon, they say in Cree. I was given this name, and this is why I put uh, a white, there's white ribbons on my skirt, and light colored skirts, and there's uh, ribbons all, um, uh, feather design on my skirt, and that's why I, uh, this is my first skirt. My skirt that I just started making about my name, so I'm hoping to make more skirts about the white wings. The next step is measuring your skirt. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure, can you hold this room? The largest part of your hips. And that is going to be how wide your material is going to be. Also the length from where you want to wear your skirt down. Oh, sorry is where you measure. Some people like short skirts. Once you measure, when you're preparing your fabric, you always add four to six inches on the edge. So it's not tight, so you, you can walk, you can move freely. Like if you're going into a sweat, you're able to move and be comfortable in your skirt. Actually, I was young when I first went to my first uh, ceremony and I was a child and I was told to wear a skirt, but I, at that time I didn't know the meaning of it until I got older and I research more on it and was able to understand the, the importance of the skirt. And the importance mm -hmm. is? Your role as a woman is important. It shows the pride and the role of being a woman. Use heat and bond. This is heat and bond. You can buy it, you cut it into strips and you place it under your ribbon and then you iron it and it peels off the white and then you can place it onto your broadcloth and iron it again and it sticks to the cloth. See if you look right here, it's, it's ironed on like it's sticking. You do that to under all your ribbon so that it stays in place. It doesn't move, it doesn't bunch up and you have a clean stitch. You're going to sew it on sides of the ribbon and make sure it's sewn in there straight. The next step would be to sew your sides, each side. And then you're going to move to sew the top. You're going to sew the top and add the ribbon in. This is how it looks after you do that step. These are two sides sewn together. Make sure your ribbons line up. And this is how the top of the, once the elastic's in there. It's not actually something that we're taught as a class. It's something that we chose to learn on our spare time. Ruby taught us how to make them. Some of the girls wanted to start wearing their work and their skirts, so they decided, and they came up with the Aboriginal Day, well, Wednesdays. We all wear our traditional clothing. Well, I think well, traditional Wednesdays. <laughs> So everybody in our class, we started dressing in our ribbon skirts and 
wearing them to class and inviting everybody else you know everybody's welcome to do it the more the merrier as the weeks go by more people are slowly joining in after finishing the traditional skirt we smudge it because it's going to be for ceremonies and for the scraps like the leftover ribbons thread whatever's left over we uh, put it in a fire so it goes back, it goes to the traditional keepers, so nothing gets thrown away because it's uh, an important traditional skirt. Once you learn how and you know the meaning behind it and you make them, it, you feel, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's uplifting. It's knowledge that every Aboriginal woman should have.